Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. I am Zystars, and we are playing on the Star Salvage map. Well, it's happened, ladies and gentlemen. We have a capital vessel. Now, I opted not to build this on camera because you guys saw me build one on camera a few episodes ago. So I figured, nah, nah, I just do it and then show you the results. Oops, I just did that. F, there we go. I can remember things. Oh, right. No gravity generator. So as far as CPU goes, we landed right below the 550. And the reason we landed right below the 550... Ooh. You're being weird, game. Is because I don't have constructors in here yet. Because I left the constructors in the orbital station. So we're going to throw that in there. And, oh, one other thing we did, got the Master Multi-Tool. It cost, what was it, 100 points? Engineer, 250 points, which brings us down to 1980. But I figured it has, so I didn't notice this before. So if you look right below the reload time, it has a return factor of 1.0. The Advanced has 0.667. The Regular has 0.333. So I'm guessing when I salvage, that gives me more bits which is exactly what I want, which means deconstructors will be kind of unnecessary with this multi-tool, which is kind of what I'm going for. Now, the structure here is pretty basic on the inside. I haven't beautified much. I mean, I've got a couple of windows there and there, and my shield generator is within a window. You can see I got the Wi-Fi in there. I've got the Pentaxa tank and an extra cargo container. Oh, and there's an O2 thing. And then uh, we've got O2, we've got fuel, there's our tier 2 CPU generator. The warp core is through that wall. And then we've got two 256k uh, thingamadoos. When we get tier 3, this wall is going to continue being built as, <clears throat> as uh, what do you call it, container controllers. And then here's our ammo controller, which is 80k. And as we get more stuff, we can expand this ammo controller. Actually, what I'm probably going to do is split it in half and have the ammo controller go up each side. Which is probably what's going to happen. Now, as we go out, we've got a couple of drawbridges. I've got room for another large thruster, which I actually have one. I just don't have the CPU to use it. And then we got the outside. It hasn't been beautified yet. We've got those there, that turret, that, that right there is a sentry turret, and a couple of turrets on the bottom. Right now, just miniguns. Okay, so the whole point of coming up here was to grab this stuff that I'm not using in orbit, which I should have been having this produce power this whole time. We do have, oh, actually, you know what? I could salvage those and get I sh that should give me all the blocks. What is that? Oh, it's just a hardened steel block. That should get all of the components, which would let me make a tier 3 CPU thingy for the ship, which might be a good way to go. All right, so we're going to leave that stuff. I don't need it, but I want this because this is advanced, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got a bunch of crap in here. Yeah, we're taking all of that with us. I don't really need this space station. Now, one thing it could do is allow generation of power, but I don't really want to. Okay, we named her the People's Promise for Shiggles and Giggles. I'm going to drop that stuff in there. Miscellaneous, we'll get that stuff. Vault Rifle, multi boost. All right, and then we are going to go here to blocks. Oop, never reloaded it. We're going to take you. We're going to take you. We're going to take you. And we're going to take these. All right, and the rest of this I don't really care about. All right, and it'll keep power if I ever decide to come back and use it, you know. Probably won't, 
but now for as far as this stuff goes this thing is oh gravity generators is just really heavy it just doesn't it doesn't have any actual cpu cost which is cool all right so we're going to put construction right here for now there we are and a little constructor and gravity generator sweet all right now what this is going to do is give us the space to go salvaging now i could salvage this base but we've also got all of this stuff got uh, magnesium we're not going to pull the magnesium yet Xerox junk field. Xerox, Xerox, Xerox. Oh, there's two. Okay, we'll get rid of that one. This space field is fine. But the Xerox ones we're not going to be able to mess with. And the trade station I don't think has anything else in it. I don't think. But we did destroy this drone base. And I don't think it's respawned yet. So the very next thing to do is to head over... Oh dear. I didn't mark it. There's a couple of crash capital vessels I marked for some reason. But we're going to head over to that drone base and actually loot it. Because I didn't loot it last time. We also have... Where to go? Exploration to do. Picked up the exploration. The first one is a motorbike. To locate POIs would be useful to your group to investigate or attack. So it wants me to craft a motorbike. Do I need to unlock it? Let's see, exploration, motorbike. I don't know if I have what I need. That'd be funny if I didn't. This big old ship and I can't make a motorbike. Ah, sweet. That'll get that out of the way. Okay, now... Yeah, these are still dead. So let's do the drone base first. Pardon me if I uh, sound a little congested. My allergies are getting the better of me today. Oops, don't pack. Okay. We are going to salvage these because I want to be able to make regular turrets. There'll always be opportunities to make more. Now the question is, is this getting me all of it? Maybe let me know, is it better to use a deconstructor with these, or, or is it better to do it like this? I don't seem to be getting scrap. Like, military scrap. I don't know if I'm supposed to. I'm getting oscillators, which is awesome. Yeah, definitely better than what I was getting with the regular advanced multi-tool before. Oh. You know what might be the problem? I didn't core it. Did I screw that up? Did I, did, am I not getting everything because I didn't core it? That might be what's happening. I, I probably have everything to build. Oh, someone mentioned I should at least look... To see if that reusable core... Yep. Flame cores. I don't have to... Uh, what is this? Oh, I don't have to uh, redo the game in order to get the flame cores. Okay. Oh, it acts as a generator. Oh, that's fancy. 625p. What's the point? I just need some optical fiber. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm sure there's some lights out here somewhere. Or a door. Nope. That thing? Nope. No. There's a light. It's five. Uh, should be another light right here. There we go. 
Advanced Constructor. That's overkill. Whatevs. Now let's go here. Is it Engineering? Where's the Claim Core at? Uh, no, Salvaging. Okay, it's not in Salvaging. Uh, resource Gather. Experimental Technology? Um. Ah, here they are. Claim Core is zero. I don't need it to be power. Like, doesn't make any sense. Um. It's my ship. Whoop, fell down. All right, devices, small constructor. Climb over here. I didn't realize the claim core was something I could make. Oh, what am I? Oh, I'm. That's right. Oops. Wow, that was a lot of stuff. Okay. And this way, I don't have to make a bunch of cores, which is going to be kind of awesome. And it makes sense as far as technology goes for um, someone to have developed the ability in a, in a world that's been out of raw resources for this long, develop the ability to put a core into a building and then recover the entire thing. Sure, sounds reasonable. Okay. So we have this, so let's go ahead and just plop it down right here. Turn the power off. Okay. See how much fuel we get. Sold. Love it. This place has a lot of fuel tanks in it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are off to the races. I think I already got the, the good stuff out of here with you guys on camera, so. I'm going to just kind of cruise through. If anything really cool pops up, I will bring you back. What's happening? Oh, okay. So we got quite a bit of fuel here. Let's move this to the other side. We got quite a bit of fuel. Let's see. Each one of these is 5%. So I guess it's not a huge amount of fuel, but it is. looks like it's enough to almost finish filling. Took some weight down. Let's see, we got, let's sort by item type. So high powered alien laser charge. So four of those. Handful of guns of various types. Our one epic was the pistol. I only found the one purple container. I only think there's one. If there's more, let me know. Oxygen almost full. These little containers do not have much O2. Uh, let's see, we got little bits of this and that. Lots of, lots of some of this stuff. Oddly enough, only one flux coil. A few oscillators. Uh, let's see. And a lot of this stuff goes over here. I kept oxygen tanks because I might use them. We got a lot of promethium fuel. We got well, all five of the uh, auto miners we're going to need in order to get that. I think it's the uh, engineering quest. So we'll be able to make the rest of those auto miners, which is cool. We got another medical device, which is going to help, I suppose, maybe if we need to get medical stuff. And apparently I picked up a fridge somewhere. All right, so the next one, let's go. I ended up using a ton of Kablamis on that Rados base. Oh, I almost did the bat. I need to add an external exit to this ship. I need to be able to get out by going up the back or, you know, jumping up top. All right, let's see if this works. Retrieve blocks. It definitely didn't. Unless I did it wrong. And I feel like, I think I remember reading on it that you have to do something with the F button. So we'll make another one. And when we do the Rados base, we'll do it maybe, hopefully, right. Let's see, that's a regular core. Here we go. Oh, yeah, pick up with F or Shift F. So on the Rados base, we'll do that because I'm, I'm probably just a dumb and 
did it wrong because of reflex. It's how I've always done it kind of thing, which is what us old people do. Let's see. All right, radio space. Let's go to the other side there. It looks like it's a bit flatter. Yeah, it's a weird looking ship. The idea with this ship is to continue building out. You know, I want, I want, it's pretty wide, but I definitely want it to go farther out the front and out the back. I'm going to put a landing strip on the back at the very least. What's going on down there? All right, so turn off the thrusters. I should have a flame core available, but that thing's probably going to attack me. Yep, it's an arachnid. There, we gotcha. And I'm not gonna say no to some veggies. Okay, so F4, let's grab the flame core. Do I have a fridge? I never did put a fridge in. I was thinking I did for some reason. Maybe I should have grabbed the food processor and fridge from that other station. Let's stick the fridge over here for now. Okay, so this time, let's put the claim core down. Okay. Shut off the power. See how much fuel's in here. Yeah, not nearly as much as the last base. Yeah, not much of that either. Okay, so now let's see what we get for these. Oh, nope, that's pretty much the exact same as I got for them when I didn't have a core down. So that's pretty straightforward. Okay, uh, let me, I'm going to loot the this base and then we'll see what all we got by the end. Okay, so these are kind of hidden. We'll see once we go up there, but I think when we're in the core room, I think, let's see, regular stuff. Oh, 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 another medical device. The armor sells, so we'll sell it. Yeah, this is just a hidden compartment. Okay, for this one, I found a total of five of those black containers. Uh, it didn't get any rare or any legendaries, but we do have EVA. We've got, well, that was from the other one. We got this thing, a whole bunch of weird ammo. We're up to 50 50k SU. A couple more medical devices. A couple of generators. But yeah, five of those black containers, which had a lot of stuff in it. We got 900 Promethium fuel. Um, and whatever the hell that is. Salvaged Alien Shield Core. Intermediate product uses a component for processing into more complex products. See templates for exact use. Um, okay. <laughs> sure. So let's drop all of this stuff over into the other container. Uh, lots of weapons, a little bit of ammo. Oh, a storage booster, which is cool for looting when I'm not looting with my ship. Okay, so now that we have a claim core... Ain't done. All right. Now for a power station, you're over CPU, but that's par for the course for the Xerox. They don't abide by no stinking CPU requirements. Yeah. Oh yeah. Those are all large generators. Not that I really need them. I have several, so I am. Oh, oops. I am going to. Just trash them. But hey, it's titanium. They're computers. It's capacitors. It's cobalt alloy, which all super useful. All right. Okay, so not a whole lot. I mean, just regular bits. One nice thing about all those generators, we just got a ton of... Well, not a ton. Oh, we got a bunch of flux coils, which are going to be handy. We're up to... 21,150 tons. I didn't take down all of the blocks. Hardened steel is heavy, as is uh, combat steel. So I didn't take all that down. And we've got this stuff. I don't... I mean, there's this area here. Yeah, there you go. That's no, not a POI. There's a POI I haven't discovered yet. I'm going to fly around and see if I can locate a POI that I haven't discovered yet. Whoa, wait a minute. 
Wow, we got close. Adding that fridge really pushed us nearly over the edge. Locate an interesting POI. I'm curious what it counts as an interesting POI. And they're all interesting, right? Here, here's one over here that I haven't... I mean, it might just be a hover vessel, but... Oh! I need to start hitting all of these junk storages. Oh yeah, here's, see, here's the fuel in O2. Hell yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna hit all of these things as we go. So here's the plan, ladies and gentlemen. Since it looks like... I got the whoa, benefits of the update without needing to do a total reset of the scenario. I'm going to just keep going. I'm not going to worry about the feral talent on the starter planet because, honestly, I don't care. I will experience that the next time I do a new start. I don't need to worry about it. Um, oh, did I pick up a second one of these? I did. Must have made one and forgot I made it. Anyway, um, I'm not going to worry about picking up. I totally lost my train of thought. Regardless, I'm going to go run around with all of these junk thingies. And then I'm going to be searching for POIs that count for the mission. And once I find one, I will share that information with you all. Okay, a couple things I found. I went and picked up the pulse lasers. There's two of those. But the big one is going to be this CV crashed capital vessel. There's two of them right next to each other. This thing has got the cheddar. Look at that. Medium thrusters. All day long. There are so many. And I think, yeah, a couple of these. Once I get upgraded, these are going to become my... Either my front thrust or my lift. I'm not sure which one I want to do. Probably the front thrust, and I'll just add more mediums for lift. Because, I don't know. I'm not sure why. Oop. I don't know. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put them if I want to put them on the bottom. The front's fairly easy. Okay, so we came away with two large thrusters, 888 oscillators, 18... 249 flux coils, a crap load of all this stuff, four generators, because I forgot to switch to salvage on them. We got food processor, motorbike fridges. We got a lot of cool stuff. 153 engineering components. Now, if you remember, these are going to spoil into engineering scrap. And five auto miner cores, which is great. All right, so the next thing we need to do... Put this stuff in the right container. Okay, so normally, let's see, advanced constructor, air CPU, base, tier 3, is two optronic bridges. Salvage. And two large optronic bridges. That means we got tier 3. Oops. Okay. Let's do two of those to bring us up to tier three. Okay, so the plan is going to be to throw a big thruster here. Um, I may modify... I'm going to have to modify the housing pretty big. I may have to rip all of this out and bring it out even farther. Because that's the warp core. Well, that's either the warp core or the shield generator, but that stuff's not moving. Or I could mount the upper just up here and move that up thruster. Yeah, I might do that. I might just put the big one right here. What's in here? What are we connected to? Okay, do I have blocks in here? What's in here? generator. Oh yeah, I can pull that off and drop the big thruster here. Easy day. Yep. Oh, what's down here? Pull on to nothing. Okay. Perfect. And this is that gap where the other thruster's gonna go. Okay. 
cool. I got a plan. We are gonna be tier three CPU with the capital vessel, ladies and gentlemen, and it's gonna be great. Okay, let's see how these scrap compressors work. First thing we're gonna do, actually, let's make sure the game doesn't have some weird thing. So 1500, so we take out the standard, and we get, okay, so 15, so what's this? Oh, all right, so we got the two scrap compressors right here. So we click that, we're down to 425,000. Okay, sweet. And then the second one, you know what? I was thinking of doing the ammo controllers going up this way, but that wouldn't be such a great idea if I'm putting CPU blocks in. <laughs> That's all right. We'll just put it right here. And yep, 405,000 CPU. So now we have one point. What, we have a million? 1.1 million CPU to deal with? That's perfect. All right, so we've got these. And then if I'm not mistaken, yep, I got another one here. Ah, uh, boy, we might need... We might need... We might need... Okay, so... Yeah, because we hit about half power when we have the shields charging. So this one's gonna go that way. Should fit in there. Yeah, there we go. And then what are you? You're just a block. Okay, and you have one over here? Yeah. Best way I've found to put thrusters on, boy, it is dark as hell, isn't it? Is like this. Nope that one and we got to make sure it's going right down the middle which in this case is the cockpit all right and then we will do that Ooh. yeah that'll be fine i think i mean it might look a little weird but i think it'll be fine so let's shut these thrusters off that brings us up to 805, which I think is fine. Okay, so I had blocks. Well, there's 18 in the CV parts. Um, I had I had to put them in a weird spot because I was running low on space. There's 18. That's not them. Where did I put those damn thing? Oh, it was with the fuel. Oops. With the fuel. Just that. Yay. There we go. Now it's just a matter of putting the blocks on. So I always do solid blocks, which is partially why my ships look the way they do. But I like to have the most protection I can get for my juicy bits, which is why I put covers here. What? Oh, son of a bitch. God damn it. Damn it, me. I didn't turn off the other one. I did that when I was building this CV, too. So dumb. Okay, I fixed all that. Oh, except that loading nonsense right there. Okay. Anyway, I like to have... Oh, interesting. That'll probably get moved. I like to have this stuff fully protected with a full block instead of a partial block. So my ships end up a little bit bigger. Then they have to they have to be, but I do like it because it means less nonsense for me. Okay, and that put that there. Look at that. See that? Now we've got lots of thrust to the back. Lots of thrust to the front. And we'll we need to put a couple more at thrust one on the bottom and oh no, I do have a light over there. I just couldn't see it before. I need another Ruster on the bottom because four isn't enough. So what's behind you? Nothing. Excellent. Because we have lots of medium thrusters, we are going to do a stuff in there. Here we go. We are going to do this. And of course, it's being dumb. 
There we are. Now we have six thrusters on the bottom, which will give us, hopefully, all the lift that we need for the time being. So let's go hop in the ship and see how it handles. We're here. Oh, are you still on? You can get turned off. Power conservation, ladies and gentlemen. Power conservation. All right. And we'll turn on the shields. That's the wrong button. All right, power. Turn everything on. See where we're at. Oh no, look at that. Two generators is plenty. Got the big engines going. Yeah. Oh, that handles so much better. Even with all this weight. And up 59 meters per second. Ooh. Down sucks. I never put downward thrusters back on. <laughs> uh-huh. Totally a thing. So let's... Nope, that's not going to work. Let's just even out. Turn off the shields. Luckily, I have this stuff all in my... um. What do you call it? It's all in my ship instead of on the ground, so I can just... Hop over, hit T. Alright, where are we going to put these? Had to move them. What is right here? And I don't think I want to put one there. Um, we need thrusters pointing down. Well, we can put one here. Let's just put the symmetry plane back on. Make sure it's the right one. We can rotate. We can drop one there. And... Yeah, that'll block my view. I don't like the way that'll look. Yeah, we can drop one there. That'll give us the... rust we need, I think, without compromising the CPU or the power at all. Yeah, we're still under a million. There we go. Now we're good. Left and right's a little weak. I think because we have small thrusters. Ooh. Yeah, our fuel's gone some down substantially, though. Or the, the amount of time. We use a lot more fuel than we did. Let's see. What are you? Are you the small or you're the medium? You're the small. Can I? Oh, absolutely. I can do that. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so we can put... That like that. Oops, I forgot to symmetry plane it, but that's okay. Where is it? Right here. There we go. Now ah, the ship's... Well, it's not perfect, and I need to build this out a little bit. I'm not doing that while flying in the air. Okay, 51 meters per second for side to side is fine. This isn't a combat vessel, and this is fully, well, mostly fully loaded. I do need to go locate, you know, I shouldn't have just scrapped all of those. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can just make them. I am an engineer, after all. I mean, I'm everything. But can I just make the tier 3 fuel containers? Oh, I don't think I have them. I don't have them unlocked. I mean, I could wait, find them. I think I will. It's not critical. And if I happen to find some more tier 3 fuel containers, I'll just use them. Holy cow, this thing turns quick. It's because of how short we are with the, with the way our thrusters are placed. Okay, looks good, ladies and gentlemen. So I think we're done with this planet. We do need to lay some, oops, lay some auto miners, which we can do here in system, I think. Yeah. Yeah, these uh, these one these planets all have stuff. Ooh. I might go get the arrestrum. We'll put auto miners on the arrestrum. Save the amount. Yeah, that stuff's all fine, but Oh, this has got E and Z. That's got E. It's an alien planet. Yeah, we're going there. So that's going to be the the subject of the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to get everything out of here. I'm going to get it all placed down or stuck into storage. I gotta set up some more storage containers so that I can have um, a spot to put everything. It, and then I'm going to 
not be able to see because lights don't count when you're in a ship. I need to make it so I can get this thing out. There we go. This is my primary ship. The HV is just for wood. Yep, so that's what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for a little bit more content. And uh, share with your buddies, because uh, YouTube says sharing is caring. By all means, everyone, have a great rest of your day. Shut up and sit down.